A developing story from Lumberton. Our 12 news cameras were rolling when police arrested a man who they say drove drunk and hit and killed a Silsby woman last week. Police tell us Chase Keller's blood alcohol level was four times the legal limit when he wrecked. As everyone hits the road for summer, Lumberton police sending a strong message tonight that drunk driving will not be tolerated. 12 News spoke with the victim's son, who says he's glad his mom is getting some justice. Sheila Ingham was a wife, mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, and more. She had been a foster parent to uh, some young ladies years ago, and she was uh, there to see them graduate. That day of celebration turned to tragedy on the way home. Shortly after 10 p.m., uh, uh, officers responded to a crash over on 69 at Chance Cutoff and uh, where it turned out to be a fatal crash. A uh, 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 Dodge pickup had rear-ended a Ford, uh, had rear-ended a Ford Focus uh, that was stopped at a red light. Police say the driver, Chase Keller, was drunk and speeding when he crashed. On uh, that stretch of highway is 45, and uh, that vehicle was, uh, uh, believe, we believe that vehicle was doing it in excess of 25 over that. Ingham's family is still trying to comprehend what happened. The vehicle that hit her, never hit the brakes. Uh, it was full impact. They said she never saw it coming um, and she felt no pain. She went instantly. Jeff Berg describes his mom as a selfless woman with a huge heart. I can't let my anger for this gentleman who just killed my mom override the love that I had for her. Instead, Berg says his family has chosen forgiveness. We've all forgiven him and it's hard to do. Um, but that's what she would have done. Berg wants people to remember there are deadly consequences if you choose to drive under the influence this summer. Maybe this will open up some people's eyes and say, you know, that it's not worth it. Or you can end up in jail. Chase Keller uh, surrendered here at the police department this morning and uh, we took him before Justice Peace. He set his bond at $250,000 for intoxication manslaughter, second degree felony. And Lumberton police say there's never a time when it's okay to drive intoxicated. Chief Danny Sullen says his office, his officers catch 80 to 100 drunk drivers every year.